By now, you've probably seen some of the great videos here on YouTube walking through the new features in DaVinci Resolve 20. But I bet in none of those videos did you see this pack of really convenient drag and drop masks right on the edit page, including this one, where you can even draw your own custom mask and then swap that around change all these, change these handles. No one else is showing this off uh, because this wasn't individual Resolve 20. This is a pack of drag and drop masks for the edit page that I have made and released. And actually, you know, this this has been available for, for a little while now, but I'm sure a ton of you still didn't know about it. I have spent the last few years making presets and templates and plugins for DaVinci Resolve. And especially if you have just uh, found me or my channel relatively recently with the launch of DaVinci Resolve 20, um, you might not know about some of the really cool stuff that could be just, you know, a few clicks away to, you know, add cool new features or new effects or titles or all of that into DaVinci Resolve. So in this video, I'm just going to show you. All of these do have dedicated videos on my site and they are all available at my website, sterlingsupply.co. But you know, you don't got to click through a whole website to find something cool. I'm just going to show you all the cool stuff here. And of course, all the links will be in the description. And to celebrate the beta release of DaVinci Resolve 20, we will be having a 20% off site-wide sale on all of these presets and plugins. I'll probably circle back to that at the end. And of course, info will be in the description. But if you like the work I do here on YouTube, whether that's standalone tutorials or walking through news like this update or uh, any of that stuff, the best way to support me by far is picking up any of these packs uh, over on sterlingsupply.co. And super importantly, even if you don't want to pick up one of these paid plugins, I have dozens of free presets and plugins and templates. Or if you just want to know, grab some free ones, try them out, see if you want to get one of the paid ones, you've got options. I've pulled in a selection of some of my favorites. I just want to show you some of the cool things I've made for Resolve. I also do a pretty bad job about talking about all the cool stuff I've done in the past. So this is a little bit of that. Let's get started. Like I showed off first, we have a pack of drag and drop masks. Um, we have a classic four point that by default comes in as this circle but then you can modify any of these points. By the way, I have toggled on this fusion overlay in this drop down menu, which lets me interact right in the viewer. Super helpful. I have that one. I have this uh, 8.1 that sort of gives you a center point on each of these sides. I have a circle, I have a rectangle, and this one that you saw me enter a completely custom one. So if I clear that out, I can then uh, click right in the viewer um, with that overlay selected, finish that up. And then in the inspector, uh, invert this and you have extra options. You could soft edge this mask if you want, uh, push it out or in, and you can even add an outline. If I pull uh, down this border width and then soft edge, look, you have a custom like colored outline that you can like super easily toss on in a custom shape on any of these. You have that outline option. Hey, I'm positive that one of these days Resolve will just add this natively into Resolve. Uh, but until then, I made it as a little pack. Uh, next, I have two versions of a relatively recent plugin I made, my Easier Ease Effect. This is a basic keyframing plugin that automatically adds that sort of easier ease little little flow. So on this one, I have a little animation I keyframed, and with no modifying those keyframes, you get nice smooth motion just by pressing those two. I have a little bit of motion blur on there. This is the free Easier Ease, but I also have the paid Easier Ease Pro which you can see, uh, I have a few things. One, I have a masking built into this, as well as a shake built into this. So it's masked, it's shaking, and then it also has that animation that sweeps in, that's auto ease. There have been a number of really cool, like community built animation plugins. They all work a little bit differently. This one, I tried to keep intentionally bare bones. If you wanna set your own keyframes on position, size, and rotation, and just have them auto eased, if you're used to that keyframing workflow, I think you'll like this. Next is my Highlighter Pro plugin. And this one might be one of my favorites. It's just really functional. If I start to play this clip, whoosh, you have this sort of like textured highlighter effect come on and it's so customizable. This is Squiggle 3. Of course, it can be just be a line or a custom. If I come down, toggle on these show view controls, then I can, you know, draw a custom line here. Um, it's offset using uh, this center control. But you can always align that back up if you would like it. Uh, and then I have a few different squiggles from different angles, different densities, even like an ellipse if you want to circle something. Always hop in here, change the color. You can see I, it has some like slight texture in there. You can change the timing with the animation controls. This edge displace if you want to 
do some like fun stuff there. Oof, tons of options here. And this is an effect that you could use in videos all over the place. And it's not like a super flashy effect. It's just like really functional. I like this one a lot. Next to my timeline, I have just this stack of video clips. It is just the same two clips over and over again. But if I select all of those, right click, make it a new fusion clip, open my effects library, come to effects, Sterling Supply Co. I have two little packs in here, Layout Pro and uh, Layout Pro Blocks. If I come to Layout Pro, or which in this case is Layout Pro V2, I think I have eight video clips here. If I come down to something like, yeah, 8-1, drop that right on, boom, those eight video clips perfectly arranged in frame. And if I scroll, you can see we can do up to 20 video effects in frame. If I go to Layout Pro Blocks, that can go up to 25 video effects in frame, tons of customization. Um, layout Pro Blocks sort of gets you this layout where um, each video is separate. You can do a drop shadow and a border if you want. This Layout Pro Blocks, um, if I grab something, even just do like, what, like a four by two, drop this on. Layout Pro Blocks instead fills the frame and instead gives you um, this sort of like line control to separate in between them. Just different styles, they are different packs. In general, Layout Pro V2 has a bit more advanced customization, uh, but if you just like this look, of like filling the screen, blocks, blocks can probably cover you. Moving on, I'm gonna to come to my timeline controls and toggle on my subtitle track uh, because to show off this next plugin, we're actually gonna use the new feature in Resolve 20 of sort of syncing a fusion effect to generated subtitles. So I have this video clip. I recently made a video talking about that statement that Grant Petty made at NAB 2025. So in my title, Strong Supply Co., I have this subtitle pro, which I dropped on this video track. And then I showed this off in my, uh, my initial video, but now that's living over in this track settings. And it's an easy way to toggle on several different uh, like animation options. So you see this one, it fades and just scales in. It's a quick scale. If I pull that animation up to like five, you might see that better. I do also have this only animating in. You, you can animate in and out, so it whoosh. Whoosh. This is a plugin I haven't touched since version 20 came out, um, but with how flexible something like this will be in version 20, um, this is something I'm absolutely gonna take another look at soon. If I push an update for this, that will be a free update for Subtitle Pro customers. Don't expect that update to have the specific like word by word functionality. That's, that's pretty new and it's exciting, but it's also um, a little more challenging. <laughs> but especially if you go back and change these subtitles to like only show a few words at a time, you could get a lot of mileage out of this subtitle pro effect. Next, I wanna talk about two free effects that I made after talking to someone who was moving from Premiere Pro. So I just sort of like recreated two effects they were used to, um, to use in Resolve, the first being this, like posterize time effect. It's a posterize time or kind of like a stop motion effect. So this frame repeat option is just like, how often do you want to update this frame? Three, three feels all right. If you crank it up to like five or something, it'll be extra choppy. That's cool. Um, but then I also added this turbulent displace effect. Whoa, you can toss this on text, lots of other things. Again, this is for people moving from Premiere and just wanted something they were a little bit more familiar with. Next, we've got uh, the effect I use in these videos. This might be trippy if you're watching this right now. Um, my picture in picture effect. You can change the shape super easily, which I haven't really done in these videos, but you can also toggle on, let me do something about, ooh, these layer controls. If you want lots of different layers with these floating around, um, including an image outline. Someone asked for that. I toggle that in. You can add a drop shadow. You can do lots of funky stuff. And this preset might actually benefit from like a behind the scenes change they did in Resolve 20. If you're ever trying to use this on a really long clip and at a certain point, it just like errors out or goes black. I used to recommend, um, you know, pre-composing the effect you were using it on before you dropped it on, um, which is the way to handle like color grading and some other things. But that might have also been um, resolved as part of uh, Resolve 20. Eh. I'll try to look at that. And if it's not, I think that might also be an update I can, I can push if that needs to be addressed. But until then, you got really cool picture and picture effects that you can, again, you can customize this to some wild extents. Next, um, I have a pack of like basic graphs. This is something I would also love to return to, but basic like circular graphs, horizontal little line graphs, and a pie chart. And something like this pie chart um, is also fully responsive. So if you do like 25, 25, 50, 75, 
It all stays proportional, shows you the total number. Whew. Again, I would love to return to these kind of things um, because like they're right in my wheelhouse. I like them a lot. And even basic like horizontal and circular graphs. Um, if you want to show off percentages, super basic stuff. I have a pack of basic graphs ready to go. Next one's a little more fun. It's an effect that uh, recreates this like bouncing DVD logo screensaver that actually like changes colors when it hits the corner. And customization, I added this in a, a later update. These source controls, you have text that's a cutout. You can just do text in the box or you can add an image or a video to also like ping around. You can choose to replace color on that or not. If you just want like your head bouncing around, you can do that. This was a fun little challenge to figure out, but I also just think it's cool. Moving on, we have uh, the Shaking Resolve logo, and all of this is done just on this little Master Shake uh, plugin I dropped on. You got position, scale, uh, and rotation, or position, angle, and scale. If you only want the position, only do that. If you want the angle too, whoa, now it's angling around. Now the scale, if you want it uh, angling and scaling while staying put, you can do it. This is one of the oldest presets I'm showing off in this video, but it's still super functional. It's still really cool. Next, ooh, next is another old one, and it's just this progress bar effect that by default goes around the bottom of the screen. But what's cool about this is that this effect takes as long as you extend the duration to be. So if you stretch it to be longer, it'll take longer. Again, this also has different styles, whether you want to align or even a box around the entire image. Whoa, cool. You would pull out this probably as well. You could make it a color. You could make it a gradient. Tons of options. A cool dynamic progress bar. Again, this, if anyone is was around for this original release, that was a long time ago. Next, I have my master tracker plugins. Now this one is interesting because I have a paid master tracker version, but then I also have like standalone free versions for some different effects. So something like this tracked image, this, I've tracked the, like, the logo just to my eye over here, or this popular locked on stabilization effect. Ooh, they are both part of the pack of the Master Tracker plugin, but I have like standalone free versions of these as well. But something like this uh, tracker that I am here using as a drop zone um, for uh, that image, you can also connect to a still image with the loader, or this drop zone has the ability to drop in video clips as well. That's one thing that paid version does that my free version doesn't. So if you wanted to, you could have a video clip that was actively tracked in your scene. Again, all this tracking done natively on the edit page, also cool. That could also totally be something that Resolve just tosses in someday. Uh, but until then, uh, I've got a little paid plugin. <laughs> Next cool standalone effect, Anime speed lines. Uh, it was cool, so I did it. This is a free plugin because, you know, this this makes sense as a free plugin, but, you know, customize these colors or, or other stylistic options. You've got options. Hold down this line amount too much and you'll get some, like, other funky noise effects. But, you know, you probably want to pull the pull that up. Cool standalone effect. And the last thing I want to show off um, was a relatively recent plugin. I had made a plugin to sort of mock up the full screen view in a YouTube video, sort of using some of the same math that that progress bar did, but it would generate like the YouTube player and show your like real time progress. Um, I expanded that into the full YouTube sort of player overlay. So this bar here, um, I have pretty wild amounts of customization. So this progress bar controls is what is here. So you dial in like the length of the video you want to mock up and like at what current time you want your playhead. And if it's on a short enough scale, it will actually play back the proportionate segment um, in real time as long as you have this overlay active, if that kind of makes sense. If you're interested in this, you'll probably get a lot out of the video linked in the description of the whole walkthrough th for this effect. I do have these video links on the side that are fully customizable. You can drop in all your own custom thumbnails, change your title and description, um, you know, change all of these titles and descriptions and even the individual view counts. A lot, a lot of customization. But if you want to mock up a video on YouTube for whatever reason, oh look, it even has this like shading overlay option. This one was cool. You can just pick up a plugin to do that for you. Wowee, that's the last thing on my list. But somehow, 
Um, that's still kind of scratching the surface. Only like a real handful of these were free. I will have overlays through the video. I'm sure you probably already seen those. But like I said, I have dozens of other free presets, some just simple titles. I have a cool like Starfield effect and like some 3D stuff, several other large paid packs as well. But if you're interested in this, you should know this is also what my channel does. So stick around if you want any more of that or click through to my channel and look around there, see if anything catches your eye. And of course, uh, sterlingsupply.co is the place to go to, you know, just get like a basic like storefront of all these. Those also link back to their original videos. So if you see something that catches your eye, you can learn more about it on YouTube and hop back and forth and all that. Obviously, I made this video really for the people who knew about none of this. Um, but if you're a regular on the channel, or if you follow me and my work, maybe you didn't know about some of these and they interest you. But even if you did, and you just wanted a refresher or to stick around and watch the video to support me in that way, I appreciate it. Of course, I super appreciate anyone who picks up one of these products or even goes and grabs some of my free products. I would love to keep doing cool stuff like this and your support buying some of these packs is the only way um, that's really possible. But that's all I've got for you uh, this time. Of course, these were all my products. I've talked about other people's products before and I will again. Um, so maybe after a whole video of self-promotion, uh, one of those videos will be coming soon. Uh, so stick around. More for that in general. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.